Look at this image, brothers and sisters, and put the dots together. This is a false image. And you know what is coming false image? You may have a cock day. You hold that. What is coming with, 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 with false images, with common idols? This is why the most I want us against that. Habakkuk 3, 2018. Yeah, Habakkuk 2018. Read that again. Let the people hear this. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Acquainted with grief. He looked like, as I said before, this man in this zen, he's in bliss. He like, he ain't living in good times right now, no? He not going through no hard times. Christ was a carpenter. Look at this man's hands. Brothers and sisters, for you all to know, I am a plumber, my hand rougher than this man's hand. A carpenter is deal with, with lumber. He had to pong in wood and thing. He never pong in here, pong in any life, eh? Look how soft this man is. This is an effeminate idol to put before our people. Our Lord and Savior is described to be a man of color, a rough looking fella. We are telling you this because on the come of our Lord and Savior, you're gonna be surprised. You are going to be surprised, brothers and sisters, and further proof and further understanding of his visage, we are going to precept it. The Bible tells us precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Read that, brother, for me. Revelations. Precept for what, what, what was written in Isaiah 53. Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Unto the who? The Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he was wearing a long garment down to his foot here. And he had a good going around his stomach. Read. His head and his ears were like white, like wool. So I want you to say, read, look at this while I'm speaking to you. Our people have to pay attention. Because if you want a picture, we got the pictures here for you. This man has a perm. This man here is straight, unnaturally straight. Not even white people here straight, so. It didn't have all the kind of cosmetics it had back then. And look at this person here. That I tell you, it was designed to captivate you with a, with a look. It was, it was a vanity. It was an idol. It was derived to keep people in bondage. Read. His head was, his head and his hairs were like white like wool. White like wool. So right off, right off the back, this image has failed because his hair is soft like silk. And Christ here is supposed to be white like wool. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. This eye is looking dead and dark. Read. And his feet were like unto fine brass. It's what? His feet were like unto fine brass. It's what? His feet like unto fine brass. His feet, meaning his skin color, his, the color of his feet was like fine brass. Now, some people may say, that because of the climate in, in the Middle East, that the, the people in them over there will be a little tan. Brothers and sisters, this goes further into the, in the description. Read. As if they were burned in a furnace. So this, this fine brass was burnt in a furnace. Brothers and sisters, this is a direct lie. Anytime a minister, anytime anybody coming and telling you that this is our Lord and Savior, this is the person that went on the cross for your sins, brothers and sisters, no. And to add more insult to injury, they expect us to believe that Christ sat down and what makes somebody draw him. Christ, our Lord and Savior, who came and did all this wondrous work, amongst all that, he sat down and let somebody draw him. He sat down and put the light in the back. With the big halo, the big thing across his head, they put his hand in a machine, a Masonic pose, and have a cross coming out a bleeding, a bleeding Valentine. Because that is not how your heart does look. Lies upon lies. These men and them have a judgment coming to them because they have kept our people in a state of bondage. You got it?
book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 5 and now said the most high that formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob again to him so listen read it again and now said the most high that formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob again to him through Israel be not though Israel be not gathered yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the most high so listen one of the mission of Christ as it described by Isaiah the prophet is to gather Israel and if you're coming in the name of Christ you will gather the children of Israel in the name of Christ your churches don't teach you this you don't listen I can't, I can't focus on that enough. I can't emphasize on that enough. We don't, they don't teach you about our people. They don't tell you that the separation and the atrocities that the black man went through and the cargo slave ships that the Native American went through when the Europeans come and take them by the edge of the sword. That was fulfilled. That was biblical prophecy of our people going into bondage and serving, serving wood and stone. What am I talking about? Deuteronomy 28, 68. Go, 20, go to 28, 40, 45 first and read up. The Bible talks about the earth. The most I say, it belongs to him. The earth is his footstool. When he talks something and not just happening in Palestine, it happening all over the earth. Our people went into this bondage because of disobedience. Because as we're not listening to the laws of the Most High. Read verse 45 for me. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall, shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee. These curses will come after us, man. The curses are going to come after we. Read. And overtake thee, till thou, till thou be destroyed. Because thou... Because thou hearkness not unto the voice of the Most High God. This is in the Bible. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? For a sign. For what? For a sign. So all the curses that in the Bible that the Most High say we will get on, that the people of Israel will get upon them will be a sign. And when the Most High talking sign, he talking globally. Everybody going to know this curse fall upon these people. Everybody going to know the condition of these people was sent from the Most High. Read. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Most I was, we will serve our enemies, which he sent against us. So what happened when the Arabs take us down? Do you know about the Arab slave trade? Why are we giving the understanding about this? They're not spoken about it. All we know about is the European transatlantic slave trade. That's all we know about. But we don't know about the Arab slave trade, which led to that. All throughout the Bible, the people of the children of Ishmael, who is known as the Arabs today, have sold, they were slave traders. They sold Joseph into slavery. When Joseph was taken by brothers and them on the whole fiasco going with the, the children of Israel. Brothers and sisters, they are the same people in the earth today. And they sold our people to the white man, to the so-called white man. Listen, and we don't have a problem with the children of them, you know? but we have to understand, we have to deal with this with truth. brothers and sisters it is almost genius what they do they tell us that they are the people and then they're doing the same thing that the antichrist spirit would have done everything that the bible said that the, in the last days satan will do brothers and sisters the bible tells us in in, in revelation chapter 2 chapter 12 that satan weakened the nations Satan's people, Satan's ideology will weaken the nations. Who funding the LGBT campaign throughout the world? Who funding all these women's rights and liberal rights and all these mess in the earth to destabilize families? Who funding these things? George Soros. Who is George Soros the stuck from? He's a Jewish man. 
They are in the same group as the House of Rome, the Club of Rome, the Illuminati, like, you, like some of you all might know. These people are put in place to kill our people. That is the war that's going on. And you won't know about that because your churches are bought and paid for. Your churches are put in place to keep you sleep. They are funded by the exact the people that kill Christ, the Romans. You may not believe Christ was killed by the Romans. Christ died on a Roman crucifix. The train of Israel would have stoned him, but he died according to the Romans' reckoning. But continue, let me continue to see what these people doing with the wood. Read. Continue. The book, the, the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 17. Seeing that thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. My what? Casteth my words behind thee. Listen, Tel Aviv, the capital of Israel today, is, is the homosexual capital of the world. The capital of the so-called the holy land is the homosexual capital of the world. They have gay pride parade in Israel. They have gay pride parade in Israel. You don't know about this because your pastor telling you to pray for Israel. You don't know about this because your pastor, not pastor and them, telling you that these are the people of the land when they are on the wailing, wall wailing. They, when there is no scriptural evidence to back up that activity. And did you hear what I say? In Israel, there are gay pride parades in Israel. The land of Israel have gay pride parades. These people are the people of Satan. This is why this thing has been passed as law in that land. They are defiling our land. These people are defiling our land. Continue. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consented with him and has been partaker with adulterers. So the pastors see the thief, the thievery and the wickedness that going on in the land of Israel and they consented with them. They're receiving all these funding and all these, all these endorsements from the Jewish people. And Israel being, the land of Israel today, being such a small land, has one of the greatest military constructs in the world. Look, we little people here in Trinidad. You know, we don't have a plane in Trinidad. We don't have one fighter jet in Trinidad. But Israel have fleets. If they wanted to wage war in Trinidad, they will wreck us. They will wreck the whole Caribbean. Who really at the bottom might pray for Israel? Pray for Israel. Listen, them people and them being prayed, listen, Satan giving them everything they need. They have military power. They could destroy, they have nuclear capabilities. Don't pray for these people and pray for yourself. Pray that the Holy Spirit come and give you wisdom. Pray that she give you knowledge and understanding. We in danger. We susceptible to their pharmaceutical drugs. We susceptible to all the different social engineering. We, the people of Israel, are susceptible to these things. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And because you don't know what's going on in the land, you're going to be susceptible to it. Go just show caution to the win and ball while all of these one people and God love everybody. That is a third, listen, don't say that in a topic like this, where people are being destroyed, and it's for a reason. I believe that the most high is just, right? We will reap what we sow. What did we do? What did our people do that brought our people into this bond, this bondful state? We forsake the commandments of the most high, and we went and sat to worship idols and the gods of the other nation. Jeremiah 10 and 1. We broke the Most High's commandments. And as a result, we're going and stay like this. If you are a, 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 if you are a Christian, 
You need to come up with some understanding in the Bible as to why you're following that religion. Did Christ bring forth Christianity for you? Christ never said, Chris, be a Christian. Christ said, be righteous. Christ said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said to wake up my people. Christ told our people, tell, Christ tell Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Your pastors don't feed the sheep, they're taking money from all you. Your pastors robbing all you. Trying to give all your blessing. When the most I trying to give all your blessing, he tell you, listen to my commandments, and I'll give all your blessing. Your pastors say, break the commandments, and I'll give your blessing. How much all let's go to churches for anointing? Pastors come put your hand with wickedness. That nasty hand with all kind of devilish thing he was doing the other night. Coming to pray and all you, giving all your demons, frightening all the children in all the churches. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Most High speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Most High, Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn what? Learn not the way of the heathen. The Most High told us to learn not the ways of the heathens. The heathens, brothers and sisters, are the other nations. We are not to learn from these people. The Bible tells us not to abhor our neighbors, but we're not supposed to learn from these people. We are not to learn from the other nations. Why are we not to learn from the other nations? I believe it's in Psalms 149. Get up for me. You got it? Psalms 147, chapter 19, verse 19, sorry. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The most I did what? He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. This is why the most I told us not to learn of the ways of the heathen. Because he showed us the commandments. He didn't show the nations the commandments. This is why today they're, they're, they're homosexuals in the church. This is why today they're bringing all sorts of different doctrines in the churches because the other nations have taken hold of our book. They have taken hold of the, the uttering of the understanding of the word. But we are the brothers and sisters of the Garden of Christ Church. We are the Israelites who keep the covenant of the Most High. We are taking back our book. This belongs to us. This word belongs to us. And we have to teach our people because our people are, is in the darkest time that we have ever been in. We have a lot of things going against us and nothing for us. We have enemies on all sides, but we don't know how to identify the enemies because the enemies have make us lost who we are. We don't know who we are, so we can't identify anybody else. We think we're all one people. We're not all one people, brothers and sisters. We have to show you who we are. Let me not you me. Yeah. Let me show you what people we are. And listen, if you think we're racist, then you think the most I are racist. Because the most I chose our people. The most I chose our people above all. So read this. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art unholy people unto the most high thy God. A what? Unholy people unto the most high thy God. The most high. Thy God has chosen thee. Has what? Has chosen thee. Nah, everybody equal. Has chosen thee. Nah, man, equal rights, brothers and sisters. The Most High has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. 
The Most High chose our people to be a special people unto himself. It don't get much more clear than that, brothers and sisters. The Most High chose our people to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Most High did not set his love upon you, nor chose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Most High loved you, and because you would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. So the Most High kept that oath with Abraham. He kept that oath to keep the, to, to, to bless us, to set us on high. The Most High did that for us. Because he made a covenant with Abraham, and the covenant went to Isaac, and then the covenant went to Jacob, and Jacob's progeny. And as a result, our people are here today because we not fulfilling our vows. Our vows are to keep the commandments so that we will be blessed. Your pastors will teach you to break the commandments and be blessed. This, that is the, do the doctrine of Satan. That is sacrilege. It is a wicked thing that your pastor started to teach you. Don't kill a mess. Jeremiah 23 and 23. I always have to emphasize on these points in scriptures over and over again. Because this is something that Everybody in here yet. A lot of people don't understand these parts of knowledge. They don't understand this part of doctrine. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 23. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors. Read that again. Woe be unto the pastors. Unto who? Woe be unto the pastors. What these people, what these pastors do? Read. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Brothers and sisters, your pastors have you wandering from church to church. They don't, listen, you're not getting this fulfillment. You're going all over the place, not coming to the knowledge of the truth. You've been wondering how to serve the Most High God. There are people here that have been in, listen, people that have been in 15 churches. All over the place, there are churches in Trinidad. All over the place, they have the house of God, the temple of Emmanuel. Pawi, have us at a place all over the place. These churches are set up, man, by Satan. These churches teach different doctrines. And all of them wrong. They teach different, they teach variables in the same Bible of the wrong thing to do. The, the way I is test the people of the Bible to see if the truth is being taught is if they're keeping the commandments of the Most High. If your pastor's keeping commandments, if your pastor's telling you to break the commandments, sorry, if your pastor's explaining to you that it's okay to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, your pastor's is teaching you a doctrine of devils. If your pastor is telling you that all God are, go are the same God, he's teaching you a doctrine of devils. If your pastor is talking in tongues that you don't understand, your pastor is teaching you a doctrine of devils. If your pastor is telling that Christ is God, your pastor is teaching you a doctrine of devils. Because Christ is the Son of God. And he's the mediator between man and the Most High. Your pastor is teaching you a doctrine of devils. If your pastor is telling you that the people of the Bible, who are you, is done away with, your pastor is teaching you a doctrine of devils. Because let me hear what Christ had to say. Let me deal with the law first, and then we're going to talk about the children of Israel. Let me go in Matthew 5 and 17. Let me see what Christ say, and tell me if you have ever heard this scripture in your churches.
The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Read that again. Think not, don't think, that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. This is out of Christ's own mouth. Christ said, don't even think that I come to destroy the laws and the, or the prophets. Don't even put that in your mind. Because it had a rumor going around amongst the Jews who was really keeping the laws amongst our people that Christ was coming to go away from the commandments. They had this rumor about Christ in that time and it came from the scribes and Pharisees, i.e. the religious establishment of the time. They was telling people that Christ was trying to come away from the law based on how his doctrine was different from the pharisaical law. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to what? To fulfill. But to what? To fulfill. For verily, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. Is the heaven still in the air? Is the earth beneath our feet still? Brothers and sisters, this law is to be kept. Now let me see what it says about those who teach otherwise. Read. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. The Bible is saying, if you break one of these commandments, what? And shall teach men so. If your pastors teach men to break the commandments and break any commandments himself, read. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteous of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So brothers and sisters, we see in the disparity here. In the times of Christ, there was a religious organization teaching people that Christ said the laws was done away with. And Christ affirmed himself, stating that to don't think that I come to break the to, to do away with the commandments. It's wickedness that what they're doing today. So according to Christ, the law is not done away with. According to Christ. Matthew 10, 5 and 6. This is something that is never here in your church. Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. The, these twelve, Yeshua sent forth and commanded them, saying, So this is Christ, Yeshua, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Christ, Yeshua, Yeshua Hamashiach, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, given the disciples a command. Read. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samari Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the who? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why aren't you being taught about this in the churches? Why are your pastors not telling you to go to the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel? Why is it an uh, 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 effort, any effort, to find out who the children of Israel are in the earth today? So that they can be revamped. This is a commandment from Christ. This is a commandment from our Lord and Savior. To come back, to bring back the children of Israel, to gather them. You don't know who you are. And as a result, you're going to be destroyed because there's curses coming your way and you don't know about them. Our people are in the commandments. We have a, a, a contractual agreement with the Most High. And we lost our heritage. We lost our heritage fulfilling scripture of the children of Israel going into captivity and losing the heritage. The black man lost his identity. We think we're Africans. We think we're people from Ethiopia. We think we're all these different denominations with Egypts, Egyptologists and Egyptians. All these are distractions. All these are ideologies that was put in place and funded by the CIA, brothers and sisters. They put these religions and fund them in order to keep in a state of confusion 
That is why it had nobody. It had, it had one household and how about 15 different religions in it. All kind of different ideology. Everybody doing what they want. We can't come together under, under the most high. So people, give me Ezekiel, Ecclesiasticus 12. Sorry. Yeah. After Proverbs. Right after Proverbs. Yeah. 12 and 12. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. So all these different ideologies come with books and it have no end to them. It have all these different, um, the Bhagwan Gita, the Quran, and all these Egyptian book of the dead, and all these kind of mess in here today. But brothers and sisters, what the Bible say? Read. And much study is weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So brothers and sisters, I'm going to conclude this with explaining to you according to the Bible out of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12 go down. What is our purpose and what we preach in here at the church? Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. What? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is our entire duty. This is the entirety of the duty of what we bring in forth. Read. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. So people, people of Sarwan, people are passing by. I hope that you will turn from your wicked ways. I hope that you will come to the knowledge of who you are and start reading that Bible. It does not belong to Christianity. It does not belong to Islam. It belongs to the children of Israel. We are here and the book belongs to us. Shalom and Aman.